My name's McKinley. In this video, I'm going to show you some auction wins that I got from hipcomic.com. But before I show you those auction wins, I want to thank you for clicking on this video because I know you have so many other options to choose from. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to show you two, what I got from hipcomic.com. And this is from Infinity Comics out of... North Carolina, California. They, if I'm not mistaken, they have auctions every week on hipcomic.com. And that is one of the features I like about hipcomic.com is that they have weekly auctions. They have, I think, if I'm not mistaken, four different auctions every week. So there's always... There's always a chance at getting a good deal on some comics. I almost got a spawn number one for 10 bucks, but then I got outbid at the last, very last second. But that's a story for another day. This is the story for today. And we are looking at, usually on this channel, if you've watched most of my videos or any of my videos, you know we're not, it's not about keys here. There you're not I'm not showing off any key issues. But in this video today, I'm showing you nothing but keys. So, are you ready for this? These are two essential Jack Kirby keys. And one of them I already have. And I bought a double because it's an auction win and it was too good of a deal to pass up. And then the other one is a book that I honestly didn't think I'd be able to get because it, it is a key and it's kind of an ex... Well, it, I know it seems like you couldn't get into one of these books for under $50. This particular key that I'm talking about but I was able to get it for a lot less than that and hopefully he put in a packing list so I can tell you how much I paid for these because I don't remember so to summarize this is quality comics I believe in North Carolina and this is how they shipped me my two keys check it out and so cardboard inside cardboard or cardboard inside cardboard and then I got the two books right here I looked it up I know how much I paid for these they're both packaged in here I already own one so this is a double because I wasn't gonna let it get away at such a good deal double check no I know I, I didn't pay I paid very little for these I feel like here we go Oh, this is it. This is the one I totally, totally, totally needed. This is this is a book I didn't think I was really going to get because seriously, it seems like it's kind of expensive because it's the first... Here's the key. It's the debut of Machine Man. This is 2001 number 8. And the sticker here says 4566. I don't think that was what they were asking or even... But honestly, you can go on to... Hip, no, not uh, mycomicshop.com, and they have issues of this on consignment, and the lowest one is like $52, I think. It's on the spendy side, which this is the Vulture Club. I'm not looking to spend $50 on a comic book, but I really wanted this one, and it was on auction, offered on auction by Quali no Infinity Comics, and I was the high bidder. I only paid $5.75 for this. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Pretty good. Tell me what you think in the comments below. But I'm pretty stoked to get this. And if I am not mistaken, this is the final issue in my 2001 run. 
which I've been picking up little by little for like $2 here, $3 here. This is the most expensive, one of the most expensive ones at $5.75. But I got issue one for a dollar. So all in all, all in all, I've been chipping away at it little by little and with not that many issues, I finally finished it. I didn't think I was going to get this issue, honestly. But five seventy five on auction? Heck yeah. Stoked. Now, I'll show you the other book I got, which is another key. And this one became a key right after, or like a crucial key, right after I bought it the first time. And that was because of the Falcon and Winter Snowman, or is that what it was called? But... This is Machine Man number seven. And this is at 4570, so that must be just be like a catalog number for them. For the seller, not a price, is what I'm thinking now. And so this is, I think I might have said it, the debut appearance of the Power Broker. And after the Falcon and Winter Soldier, like, came out on Disney Plus, this book shot up in price. And I'd luckily just bought it. I think it's coming down now, but I paid, uh, I think, well, I don't need to think, I wrote it down. I paid $2.30 for this. So I've seen it, like I said, it shot up in price a lot. I think it's coming down now, but still for $2.30, I figured I can buy a double of it. So that's my Jack Kirby haul, my Kirby Keys haul, essential Kirby Keys, two keys from two great Jack Kirby series, 2001 and Machine Man. And that, if I'm not mistaken, finishes my 2001 run. So super stoked to get that and super stoked for the August birthday month for all of us. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and peace, love, bunny, and bear.